Hello, sir. My name is Varun. I am 10 years old. Hello. Tell me what exactly are you going through? And yes, be very honest. Uh, sir, it's been a long time. And uh, I can't seem to, you know, forget those memories. I can't, I just can't go back to the, just forget that please. I don't know what's happening with me. It's been so long. You still can't get over the fact? That's interesting. What do you exactly feel or recall that you can't let go of? Oh, sir, I just feel very lonely. And you know, I can't get rid of the thoughts of the people who were with me. I, I just don't know how to deal with it, sir. I can't process, I can't process anything, sir. Varun, the most important thing you need to remember is you need to detach. You aren't able to leave the traces of your past is because you are worried that they will forget you. They don't. You will always be in their minds and sometimes in their photos to remind them of you. You have to pave the way of your new life. Implement some rules and then you will succeed in leaving behind or as the people say, detach from your past. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, I'm Dev. I'm 22 year old. Can you show me a way I can become an angel? I am a therapist. I cannot give you any pill to become an angel. However, what I can do is to guide your heart and mind towards what you want to achieve. That I will surely do. I can do. I just cannot deal with this. We were a bunch of people and most of them have become angels. And if I don't become an angel, I'll be looked down upon. And the thought of this is so, so worrisome that I cannot concentrate on any task assigned. I feel that you are suffering from what we call as anxiety. Peer pressure is taking toll on you. And you know what? I'll tell you a secret. You yourself know that your wrong actions, your wrong doings is going to block the way ahead to become an angel. Actually, it is my fault. Though I don't deserve to be here, I am here. But the thought that I may lose everything again is so worrisome. Hmm, now I realize why you become so anxious. So basically, when you are on your way to become an angel, or when you want to become one. There are two important aspects that you have to keep in mind. A. You cannot dwell in denial mode. And B. You cannot live in guilt and overthink. You only have to do one thing. is just to make your surrounding happy. People around you happy. And that would be your first step of what you want to become. Hello, Dr. Sunil. Dr. Anil? Anil. Um, doc Dr. Ashish. Dr. Ashish. Dr. Ashish. Ah, uh, I clearly understand why you're over here, ma'am. Let's get to the point. Doctor, I don't know anything. And I don't know anything in the past. My relationships, my finances, my partner's infidelity. I just didn't know anything. And even now that I'm more than alive, I still don't know anything. Sorry to interrupt. Humans need not know everything. We aren't gods. And it's okay not to know everything. How's that okay? I suffered because of that in the past. And now I'm going to suffer because of that over here again. You will not suffer over here, Priya. You won't. The only reason we suffer is because we don't introspect ourselves better. Once we get onto that, things will be simpler, much simpler. Then how, how, how can I resist this urge of knowing everything? It's very simple, Priya. Like how we see a new person, we meet them and we have a strong sense of urge to think about that person, what he thinks about us, how what his actions might be, how we are putting an impression upon us to him. 
isn't it? But the question over here is, do we really care? You sure, na? This will work. It will. Why won't it work? It has worked for all. I'm so sure, sure it'll work for you too. Then I'll see if it works. So tell me, what brings you over here? Be relaxed. Tell me. Okay, let's start with a basic question. What's your name? Isha. What a beautiful name. Can you tell me about the we are members over here? My grandparents. No boyfriend? Okay, so boyfriend trouble. Tell me what happened. We were going out for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I had the most amazing parents. They would let me go out with my boyfriend to relax. But we met with a car accident. When we arrived over here, I couldn't find him. We got to know he's in the judgment line. I'm so worried. What if I lose him? So you exactly know. It is written. It is a fact. The reason why he's in the judgment line. To become a demon. I know. But I love him so much. I cannot see him being a demon. On top of that, if he becomes a demon, we shall never be together. Isha, you are not fair in your thoughts. You know, one must pay price for one's karma. True love cannot be separated. It do take time to heal. But surely, love cannot be separated. Demons may not have souls, but they definitely have heart. You are just afraid to lose him, which you are not going to do. So stop worrying and start spending too time with him. Support him in whatever he does. You never know, he might not become a demon, but you will be spending the rest of your eternity with him. True love has no boundaries.